Hainan Island in the south of China is located near Southeast Asia and has a very similar climate. It's suitable for vacation and escaping the cold wind. Now it's being developed as China's economic city of the future. Old towns in Hainan still have the atmosphere of the past generation's way of living, and any buildings are still preserved. In 2008, the Beijing government announced Hainan as a tourist island. A drop of honey attracted many real estate investors from mainland China. The new city planning and the construction of a transportation system that connects the whole island are developing much quicker than in the past 10 years. The goal is to attract foreign investors. They project the image of a new Hong Kong with skyscrapers. The very distinctive architecture on the other side of Hainan Island is being built for new towns. For Hainan, it's better to change than to be frozen in time. The people on Hainan Island are accustomed to agriculture, fishery, and livestock production. Now it's time for them to follow the flow of change. China intends to make Hainan the country's largest special economic zone, or SEZ, within just a few years. When that happens, Hainan will become a destination for a much more diverse group of people who will walk towards success while recognizing Hainan as the second Hong Kong that China has been wishing for. Hainan, China's prospective new Hong Kong. Hainan today is very different from just 10 years ago. All the roads are paved with concrete, even in the rural areas. Infrastructure has touched all leaves of grass, making the island ready to be a free trade area by 2025 as Xi Jinping has announced. ทางจีนเค้าบอกว่าไหลหลําเนี่ยคือฮ่องกงใหม่และไหลหลําเนี่ยคือประตูผ่านเค้าจีนผ่านเค้าจีนคือผ่านเท่าทางกองเจ้า
ามองว่าจะให้ไหหลามเป็นฮ่องกงนิวฮ่องกงเนี่ยจริงๆอาจจะไม่ใช่เป็นเหมือนฮ่องกงร้อยเปอร์เซ็นตนะครับเพราะว่ามันก็จะมีสภาวะแวดล้อมต่างๆที่มันจะไม่เหมือนกับฮ่องกงนะฮะเพราะว่าทางไหหลามเองไม่ใช่เหมือนฮ่องกงว่าจะมีดอลลาร์ฮ่องกงใช่ไหมไม่ได้มีการเป็นเป็นสกุลเงินของตัวเองไม่เหมือนหมาเกา๊าหมาเก๊าก็จะมีสกุลเงินของตัวเองแต่ไหหลามก็ยังใช้เป็นเงินหยวนอยู่นะครับสิ่งที่เขาอยากจะพัฒนาน่าจะเป็นศูนย์เซ็นเตอร์ของเงินด่วนดิจิตอลในอนาคตนะครับแล้วก็ก่อให้หลามเองมันจะมีข้อดีมากกว่าทางฮ่องกงก็คือพื้นที่มันค่อนข้างใหญ่หมายถึงว่าทั้งเกาะไหหลามเองนะครับก็ 33,000 หรือ 34,000 กว่าตารางกิโลเมตรคือจะเป็นเขตเศรษฐกิจพิเศษทั้งหมดเลย The ambition to make Hainan a new large special economic zone May face many challenges. Hainan Island's GDP growth is among the lowest of all the provinces in China, and the average income of the people of Hainan is approximately 10% lower than any other city. Beijing's new policy emphasizes creating a new identity for Hainan, not just a cluster in one city, but rather a diversity. For example, the capital of Haikou may be a financial center with headquarters from several companies. Wenchang will be a satellite development center because there was a commercial satellite launched directly from Wenchang this year. One satellite area next to Wenchang, Boao, is suitable for establishing a conference center such as Boao Forum. Lin Shui is starting to open colleges and schools, while gathering students from all over the world. Sun Ya will focus on duty-free shopping areas, tourism, and plant nursery centers. คือไหหลามมันเป็นเกาะที่เหมือนกับว่ามันไม่เหมือนกับมันไม่ได้เป็นจุดยุทธศาสตร์ใหญ่ถ้าถ้าเราดูจากประวัติศาสตร์แล้วนะทำไมอังกฤษเขาไปยึดฮ่องกงใช่ไหมทำไมฝรั่งเศสไปยึดที่เซียงไฮ้เยอรมันไปยึดที่ชิงเต่าญี่ปุ่นมายึดที่ไต้หวันแต่ว่าไหหลามไม่มีใครมายึดคือคือวัจุดยุทธศาสตร์มันยังไม่ใช่อ่ะมันยังไม่ใช่ตรงสําคัญมากที่สุดมันก็เลยก็ก็เลยกลายเป็นพื้นที่ที่ก็ปลอดภัยหน่อยหนึ่ง This new identity drives Hainan toward a new chapter. Both historically and environmentally, for instance, sky trains are newly launched. Modern and up-to-standard trains are laid all over Hainan Island, which connects all cities together. Wherever you are in Hainan, you can travel to another place within just a few minutes. The Western Ring System connects two main cities, Sanya and Haikou. The high-speed Eastern Ring route. Runs from Haikou to Sanya along the eastern coast. 20 กว่าปีแล้วก็ค่อยๆถอยมาแล้วพอเสร็จแล้วก็ดูแล้วก็ค่อนข้างพัฒนาดีขึ้นอย่างว่าเราบอกว่าเมื่อก่อนเราไปอย่างเงี้ยเราเห็นถนนเล็กๆพอไปอีกหกเดือนถนนนี้มันเพราะมันไม่เล็กแล้วมันใหญ่ตึกๆมันหายไปหมดแล้วเขาไอ้นั่นหายไปหมดอะไรไปหมดนะครับแล้วก็ที่เห็นมาหลังสุดเลยล่าสุดเลยเนี่ยที่ไปเนี่ยเมืองเขาหลังจากโควิดเพราะก่อนโควิดนั่นก็ไม่ได้ไปไหนกันนะพอหลังจากโควิดไปเนี่ยโอ้เขาเปลี่ยนไปมากเมืองนี่เขาสะอาดและรถแท็กซี่ในเก่าๆไม่มีละมีแต่รถใหม่ๆเป็นรถไฟฟ้ารถไฟฟ้าทั้งหมดแล้วก็ร้านอาหารห้องอาหารอะไรเดี๋ยวนี้สะอาดขึ้นเยอะถ้าเทียบกับเมื่อก่อนสะอาดขึ้นเยอะแล้วก็เมืองเมืองหนถนนหนทางสะอาดมีการล่างมีการทำความสะอาดมองไปเนี่ยโอ้เดินไปแล้วสะอาดเมืองสะอาดมากกว่าเดิมเยอะและไม่ใช่แค่เมืองเดียวด้วยไปหวนชางก็เป็น When speaking about well-known economic plants on Hainan Island, people will most likely think of coconuts. The coconut processing industry has an annual output value of 20 billion yuan. They produce more than 260 types of coconut products. In 2025, Hainan will be a special economic zone. They intend to increase the output value 
to 23 billion yuan for the coconut processing industry. They don't desert old cultures in order to catch up with new industries. Instead, they try to increase the value of existing resources with novel methods. China has only a few places with an appropriate climate to grow coconuts. This location is the perfect nursery. Coconuts on the island can be exported and have provided jobs and incomes for those on the entire island through the generations. It's not beyond expectations that in the future, the export and the coconut processing industry will make Hainan one of the largest coconut export cities in the entire world. Even the local people sell them as local specialties, like Hainan coconut snacks and candies. If you cannot imagine this, just try strolling around in the Hainan markets. Now the Hainan area is not very large. It still needs more space to build new cities, which will cause a decrease in crowded forests. So the great plan of the coconut processing industry will have to rely on other plantations. To meet the increasing demand, they partially import coconuts from Indonesia, Vietnam, and Thailand. Wern Chong fishermen call coconut trees a tree of life. They said this a long time ago when people from Wern Chong were fishing in Nansha, when they faced a typhoon and the fishing boats sank. Fortunately, they swam to a small island and ate coconuts to relieve their hunger. After they were able to leave the island, they always remembered the good deeds of the coconut trees. Chinese Hainan的种植面积占到了全国大概百分之九十六左右吧。就全国的椰子大部分都在海南了。海南的椰子在政府的规划当中，它是就它的价值和呃这个作用呃基本上像最早海南有三棵树，呃冰橡胶树、椰
Along the coastline, many boats are left unattended. Only the sound of waves crashing on the shore drowns out the faint sound of the few remaining fishing communities. Huang Zhou Jin left his home in Zhangjiang to be a fisherman on Hainan Island because it was the most flourishing occupation. But the job greatly depends on the weather conditions. You must have good luck fishing on clear and sunny days with no strong waves. Longsia 我们是搞集中玩的嘛然后一直到应该是到明年明年的五月一号起就可以全部休移的时候就不干了休息期间然后五月一号到八月那个十六号这边都是休息期间一直都空着都不出海了台风的季节应该是六七月份吧就是农历
，而是因为说我们国家给予的政策，然后让我们现在的海南变得一步一步更加辽阔、更加富强。Zhong Liu Xiong tells us about the future change in Hainan. The government's policy will make Hainan grow gradually with more strength and prosperity. In the past few years, she has become the owner of a smart parking system business after learning that Hainan will soon be China's new special economic zone. Ninety-two. 呃，一些生态的保护，包括我们海洋的保护。其实，在海南岛，在海洋。She started the smart parking business because she wants the system to be a part of a future innovative Hainan. Her parking system is called smart because it doesn't require humans stationed in a kiosk to collect fees. Because she uses a QR code system instead, Zhong Liu Xiong also applies this scanning system to a hospital in Haikou. The car scanning system can also collect data such as where is the car from, is it registered to Hainan or other cities, what is the gender of the driver. All of this information will appear on a monitor as real-time numeric data to show the parking situation in Haikou. The real-time data she collects greatly benefits the Hainan people. Hainan's topography always makes the island encounter many weather fluctuations. Typhoons often occur. Sea levels may rise. Sometimes fire or earthquakes happen. Once these disasters occur, the smart parking system will keep track of risky areas and warn the people parking in those areas so that the drivers and pedestrians can safely escape from there. Zhong Liu Xiong wants her smart parking system to be a part of Hainan's future in order to provide safety for people in Hainan, especially on days with harsh weather. She hopes this system is modern enough to prepare for the special economic zone in the future. This is what I believe. Then now the young people are also like this. Actually, there are many of the young people I know, like the 90s, 2000s children. They all went to school. After they finished school, some of them will choose to go abroad. Some of them will choose to go in the country. 但是呢，回来的人大部分都已经是二十五、二十六岁，就是真正可以创业。所以我相信未来的海南，它不只是一个就是自由贸易岛，它更多的是一个海南本地人才聚集地。因为说这里的优惠的政策，它会吸引更多海南本地人回来。就像咱们泰国的，呃，海南的老乡，其实他们现在也开始慢慢的考虑回来。Hainan's future is to be a special economic zone, the same way that Hong Kong is. 
However, their characteristics are different from the start. Hong Kong used to be colonized by the British Empire and has been acknowledged by the world's leading financial institutions and businesses for a very long time. To create power for Hainan to compete in the world economic system, China cannot just hope. It needs support and attention from financial institutions and business people all over the world. Also, they must not forget local Hainan people who possess their own local history and have lived with nature for many generations. How to create the image of the new Hainan? How to attract people? How to inspire future generations of Hainan people to settle down in their hometown? How to prepare for the new special economic zone and additional migrants who will soon come. This is what everyone expects to see and experience in Hainan by the year 2025.